Hi everyone, welcome to my St. Martin vlog. If you didn't know, St. Martin is two countries on one island. The Dutch side is called St. Maarten and the French side is called St. Martin. I booked a room at Center Hotel on the French side. What I noticed right away is that accommodation on the island is expensive. This hotel had a good price for the location and the facilities they offer. I paid 575 euros for one week. I like my room and the location, but unfortunately the service in the restaurant area was terrible during my stay. My hotel is located in Marigat, the capital of the French side. Here you can find everything you need and this side of the island gives you a vibe of tropical France. Here I am at my favorite breakfast spot, called Natural Cafe. I really love their fresh juices. I took the bus to the Dutch side. A bus ticket will cost you less than 2 euros or around 2 US dollars depending on how far you need to go. This is an affordable way to get around on the island. The only downside is that the schedule is irregular and after 8 pm there are no buses and taxis are expensive. From the airport on the Dutch side to my hotel on the French side, I paid around 25 euros. This is a fixed airport transfer price. Prices are higher with regular taxis, which are hard to find in my opinion, especially at night time.
The capital of the Dutch side is Philipsburg. Here is where I enjoyed a day at the beach called Great Bay. On the boulevard of Great Bay you can find a typical Dutch meal restaurant where they serve Dutch based pancakes and mini Dutch pancakes called poffertjes. The boulevard is filled with multiple restaurants and bars. This is my favorite bar on the boulevard. They usually have reggae music and the drinks are amazing. Here I am back at the French side in Grand Casse, the culinary center of the French side. I had lunch at the beach with the new friends I made. St. Martin is called a friendly island and I totally agree. The people I met made my trip so much more fun. So I was in for some water activities and I never tried pedal boarding before. So I decided to try it out at Diffy Little Bay.
The wind blew me too far away, so I had to be rescued and taken back by the instructor. I really like this activity and I will definitely do it again. I am on my way to Pinel Island. The ferry to Pinel costs around 10 euros or 12 US dollars for a round trip. And if you are wondering where I got this lovely shirt from, it's designed by my friend. Check him out at, on Instagram at ByDodiArt. I forgot to film while I was there because I was enjoying the moment. We are leaving with the staff on the last ferry that leaves at 4.30 p.m. A nice spot for lunch or drinks in the evening is at the waterfront in Marigot. The old location was ruined by a hurricane years ago, but the new part looks great. Local meals will cost you around 20 euros for a main course.
And of course, we are having croissants and pastries because we are in France. An amazing spot to spend the day and relax is at the Ladry Farm on the French side. If you are on the French side with a thirst for coconuts, you can find the coconut guys near the roundabout in Cool de Sac. We have reached the end of part 1. My first impressions of the island were amazing. Watch part 2 for more activities, tropical beaches and nightlife. Thank you for watching, love and light, see you in the next one.